Welcome to Glen Shree. I'm here in the car park. I'm just about to go up on the uh, the chairlift, which is just behind me there, folks. So this will be uh, interesting. Hi, right, folks. We're off. We're off and running. Now the weather's not good today. Um, Forecast was to be cloudy to clear later on, but it looks actually really misty up here. Never mind. Right, this takes me back to my uh, ski days. I used to ski down the Tiger, down this one here, back in when I was well, when I was fit and active. Um, used to go up here a few times, and used to have some really good weather. And the skiing here was like Europe, basically. But most of the time, it was horrible, misty. You couldn't see a thing. Over that side there was good as well, uh, sunny side. Um, but yeah. It's funny to be back in the summer, we're not feeling the summer ever, folks. So this is a whole new, whole new experience. The Jag wouldn't like this, Jag will be feeling sick by now. Um, but we'll head up into the clouds and we'll see. I've got a return ticket. Some people walk down, some people just get their chair down again. But I think I'll, I'll get the chair down. <laughs> we'll see, folks. Anyway, I'll put this away in case I drop I it. I'm coming to a steep bit now. Um, but yeah, we used to come in here with your ski, big long skis, obviously, your boots or your kind of backpacks. And uh, it used to be funny getting off the lift with your skis because uh, nine times out of ten you'd flee off to one side or fall. And um, <laughs> it's actually going to be funny getting off this. Hope they slow it down when you get off because otherwise you need to make a run for it. But yeah, you push your bar up and then uh, you go for it, folks. Can I feel a bit of rain? Unless it's just because I'm high up. I don't even know where the paths are walking down. I can't see anybody walking down. So I'll probably just linger at the top here and go for a little uh, wonder and then uh, head back down. So this is uh, day two of my road trips, folks. Yeah, getting out and about. Seems I'm not away anywhere this year. This is, this is the holiday. <laughs> day trips. The thing is, nobody else is even off. It's awful. Um, people that go to Tenerife were there. We're down in Blackpool. I wasn't going to go down to Blackpool. I just thought I'd stay up here, but uh, I think I'm having a few days out next week make up for it so uh yeah just making sure and get out and about making sure i get some fresh air after being stuck indoors for 10 days right this is oh it's a steep bit <laughs> right this is uh this is where we are now There's my car, just in the car park down there. Well, that's one of the main ski areas over there, folks. That's quite a popular site to ski. And then you can ski all the way over here. I think up there as well, they're building more chairlifts and over the back. So I think I'll walk down that path there, up to the kind of top, walk along a bit. And then I'll go up here. There's a little hut, so I'll go up there and get some pictures as well it's quite dangerous on all this uh loose shrapnel is that what you call it it's quite slippy right i'm at the top of the cam well folks for all these uh aerials and things and the views are awesome i forgot how good the views are up here um usually when you come up here say it's snowing so you imagine the views when it's sunny it's just amazing now there's a wee little lock over there might try and walk to that. Right, let's just walk over to the edge here because uh, there's some massive drops. So over this way, that's the way I've just come, folks, through that glen up there. Is that the road or is that the water? I'm not sure. Oh, no, you can see the road. The road goes right down the middle. 
And that's where I've just uh, come from. Look at that, it's not beautiful. And then over this side, look at the steepness of that um, mountain there, folks. Right in the gully. This is the cheats way to climb, uh, is this a Munro? I don't know. This is classed as a Munro. Uh, the cloud's getting quite low up there. Look at that on that side as well. A low cloud. So, um, <clears throat> if the clouds clear, which they might, folks, you never know. We might get two extremes today. We might get kind of cloudy weather, and it's the sun's over that way. Actually, no, we might even get rain. You never know. We'll get the typical Scottish seasons all in one day. But the sun's coming out way over there in the distance at Braemar. Right, let's go for a wee hike. So as you can see, folks, the paths aren't actually the best up here. Um, I think they're doing a lot of work up here at the minute anyway to try and get all this kind of sorted. But yeah, it's not ideal, but what can you expect when you're 2,000 feet up, I suppose. Here's another one of the uh, ski toes. This one I think is one of the bars you put between your legs. The other ones that's quite hard to go on, but it looks a bit rusted. It's been a shame this year for the ski, well this year and last year, with the COVID. Um, this year we had the best snow ever but nobody could go skiing. Such a shame. Now this uh, bench here looks like it's made out of skis. How cool. Look at that, folks. That's awesome. That's uh, one of the best benches I've seen, I think. A ski park bench. Right, folks, this um, ski bench is actually quite a sad bench, actually. Now we've read all the messages. Lots of handwritten messages on it to a guy called AJ. He was only like 16, so this is obviously a commemorative bench to him. Obviously a winter sports uh, enthusiast. Very nice idea. Look, AJ, we miss you. Right, there's actually a cairn at the top of that hill there, so may as well go up there, folks, and uh, see what the view's like from up there. Um, see if we can get to the loch. I've actually got my sandwich when we should actually just have it here, maybe, I don't know. Um, and then we'll climb back up the hill, back up to the uh, chairlift. The thing is, I could actually walk down. It looks quite easy just to walk down the path, but I think half the fun would be going down back back down to the chairlift so yeah we'll do that right we're heading up to the uh the cairn now folks oh it's a bit windier up here folks right you can see the loch there it is but i'm not going to bother going down to the loch folks it's uh with a steep climb down. Well, I said that's not too bad, but I'm just not in the mood for climbing any more mountains because I've still got to go back up that one. But the thing is, it looks like the road goes all the way down and round and back down. But I'm gonna go back on the ski lift because it's more fun. A lovely jubbly. Well, it looks like there's another path. I can see people walking. It goes up and then along the cliff top there, folks, right up to the top. There. Right, I made a decision, folks. Even though it's only 12 o'clock, um, I'm not really dressed for climbing. I've only got kind of kind of thin short one, not thin shorts, but not, not any hiking shorts. I've got no rainproof stuff with me. Um, so I'm tempted to walk away along that cliff bit. So you can see it's actually a lot of people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. It's about a dozen people there, but um, it's a weekend just up there. Well, I do, I just take my time. Hmm. I don't know. Right, let's head back up this uh, steep path, back down on the chairlift. So down we come, uh, and this is the fun way down. You can walk down, lots of nice easy paths to walk down. When you go up to the top there, again, lots of nice easy um, walks to do. So if you want to come on this, it's 10 pound, 10 pound a shot. And that includes your car parking, because you pay for car parking here now. Um, or I think it's six pound one way, uh, and then you can walk down and there's reductions for kids as well. 
So I'll put the links uh, in the comments here, but great fun. Great way to spend a couple of hours um, and an easy way to go up the mountains with some brilliant views. My car is still there. Can you spot my car in the car park, folks? Right, I might go and check the cafe out and see if they've got any decent uh, coffee or cakes. I've got a flask with me, but I'll keep that for later on. Again, there's the road going down to uh, Braemar. Right, it only takes five minutes, folks. Very quick trip. Most enjoyable. Yep. See some more park benches, folks. Look at these ones. Awesome. Biggest park bench in the world. Here's one of these uh, scenic photo posts, folks. Let's try it. It's not very good, folks. Not very good one. Uh, this little area is called Contours or something. It uh, gives you all the kind of information up on the board there about how all the lands and the waters meet. Um, it's just down from where it was a minute ago. So I'm going to head down to these uh, fairy pools, I call them, over there. Let's see what they're all about. Not much water on it today though. Right, so I bet in the winter this is a, a torrent of water, waterfalls and everything. So, I'm going to have to try and cross this uh, little bridge here. Oh no, it's going to be wobbly central. Um, do, do that one or do this one? Let's try this one. Well, these ones aren't too good, are they? A bit wobbly. Right, there we go, folks. Nearby, ah, easy, easy. Right, that way or that way. Let's try this way. So the cars are parked up there on the hill. There was a couple of camper vans there, and I got the last space. Uh, but a few of them have moved away now. There's only space for like six cars or something. It's a nice little place to stop. So just down from the chairlift. See a bit of blue sky now, which is nice. All right, so there we go. Some mini waterfalls. Right, I could have bought my flask here and sat and had my coffee. Lovely little spot. It's got a little uh, beach just in front of me here. Well, not a beach, just a little pebbly beach. Yeah, very nice. The sun's come out, folks. Yes, the sun's out. Yes, let's go for a swim. Ooh. Right, I've got to go up, uh, up a bit further. Give us in the next uh, little valley. 